Hello, this is Janet. This is You Caught Me Crafting. And to be honest with you guys, I just grabbed the first BTS card that I could without even looking, and it ended up being Little Jung Cookie, JK from so long ago, to cover this painting. So it's not really a hint of what the painting is like my other ones usually are. But if you've been here before, you know that they usually give a hint of what the, the picture is. But this one's just JK being cute, so we're happy about that. And if you've been here before, thank you, thank you, thank you so much. And if you haven't, welcome. Again, this is You Caught Me Crafting, and I'm Janet, and I'm going to do a quick sneak peek of this really adorable, adorable diamond painting that's coming out. And it's called Dinomania by Steve Sundrum. And I really love, it's the first time I've ever seen it. I don't know if it's the first time ever, but the first time I've seen the artist have their signature next to their name on the diamond painting. And I think that's really cool. Just a nice little extra touch. And it's square, 94 by 70. And I've always loved things dinosaurs. I think the first book that I checked out from the library was a book on dinosaurs and I just kept it. So my parents had to pay like $3, <laughs> but we've all been there. And here's your second sticker. No matter what painting you get, you'll always get this for your logbook when you're kidding up. You can always take your painting out and put it on the plastic like this if you want to recycle your box. Or if you stack your boxes like this, you can always put the sticker this way. And then you don't have to, you know, dig through all of the big boxes or whatever, depending on how big your collection is. And if it's like mine, then these definitely come in handy. And this is a big painting, you guys. Ooh. So, first we have our toolkit. And since it is a square, we'll have tweezers. But if you do order a round painting, you won't get tweezers just because they're used with squares, so it wouldn't make sense. And in your toolkit, you will get bag of baggies. Good for kidding down, kidding up, just putting your trash in. Here are the Diamond Art Club tweezers. Very, very sharp. Always keep this on. I promise you don't want to dig in your purse or your drawer and hit that. You will get two hearts of the dark red wax, sometimes three. And it does have a little plastic coating, so you just take the plastic off. Put your pen in there, and then that's how you do the wax. These are also great for putting just drills that don't really fit or have too much glue. You tip the glue off, the wax, not glue, you know what I mean? Right here. Then you'll get a different colored, shiny little pen with a little squeegee and that was actually the easiest to put on that I've had in a long time. I'm a lefty. Here are multi-placers which are especially useful for huge paintings like this one where you're gonna have multi-placing. They'll give you a four and a seven. You'll get different types of cover minders and washi tape. This is super super useful for covering your painting and kind of making little squares and marking it up. And I can link a video here to how I put my washi tape on and how I use my cover minders. Super, super useful. You'll have a collection of your own if you're just starting. And here's your little boat. You'll have bigger ones, smaller ones, but this is a perfect size to start out with. Put your diamonds in, use the color, and then you can just flip up the little knob there and just pour them back into their place and that's what you'll get with the toolkit it is everything that you need for diamond painting nothing more nothing less actually a little bit more because you don't need the washi tape and cover minder they're just kind of awesome <laughs> so i'll go ahead <coughs> 
Sorry if my voice sounds a little weird. My allergies are super extra today. But I'll go ahead and clean this up and take out the drills. We will look at the colors because this is, I just have a feeling it's going to be super colorful. We'll look at the art up close. Then we'll look at the actual canvas. And then I'll cut out those A, B, and special diamonds. And I'll show you where they're going to go on the canvas because... With my sneak peeks, I want you to be 100% sure that you know exactly what you're getting. If you do decide to purchase this, you'll know exactly what colors, you know, the size, everything that should come with your diamond painting. And Diamond Art Club has 100% guarantee, you know, anytime I'm missing anything, they get it to me so quickly and that's super, super rare if it does happen. So I will be right back and we will see this change magically. <laughs> and when you open up everything, you'll get your thank you for your purchase, which has your VIP Facebook group, which I do have linked down below, what's included in your kit, step-by-step -step instructions, coupon codes, tips and tricks, and you get the QR code for the app. And if you download the app, you get 20% off your first purchase through the app. Also, if it's your first time buying from Diamond Art Club ever, please feel free to use my code Janet15 right here to get 15% off of your first purchase. So just remember, you can use that code anytime, and then you can save the other ones for your next ones if you hopefully, hopefully you love the product. And so mine can be used for your first purchase purchase anywhere, then you get 20% off your first purchase through the app, and then they're always giving away coupon codes every holiday, pretty much every week. They're just amazing about trying to make these as affordable as possible, which I know it can become a lot. And definitely check your drills. You see it says Dinomania right here, and we have our beautiful color palette such a rainbow of colors. I love this one. We have 59 colors. Again by Steve Sundrum. You can see right there. And here is the artwork up close. It's like a more fantastical version of the ending of Jurassic Park where it says like where the Tyrannosaurus Rex comes in and it says like dinosaurs will take over the earth. Oh cool, I didn't even notice. You can see someone drawing the dinosaur. Oh, that's so cool. Look, he's coming in through the top. And you can see more dinosaurs coming out of these paintings. But look, in the bottom right corner, you see somebody like working on the actual painting. Oh, that's so cool. And we have 59 colors with three special drills and four ABs, so I'll be going over where those seven special diamonds go. But first, we'll look through all of these colors quickly, just so you can get a feeling of the whole color palette, and I'll lay them out here once I'm done. This is so cool. This would be such a fun project for anyone who's just starting out with squares or just wants a really fun project to do with, you know, any, all ages. There's so many different colors and so many different areas that people can pick out their favorite dinosaur to work on or favorite color to work on. If they like blues or if they like reds and purples or yellows, you know, greens. This is just, I love this painting so much. I have a six year old, so I know it's just perfect for us to do also. So first, let me go ahead and open these up so you don't have to hear all that plastic crinkling. And I'll cut them into shorter strips and I will show you all of the colors. Let's go. Excuse me for my weird sounding voice. My allergies again are just crazy today. So here we go. 356, two bags of 930, 3726, 3830, and three bags of 433. Two 
two bags of 434, 3371, and two bags of 898. Two bags of 3803, 3750, 793, and three bags of 435. 436, three bags of it. 159, 320, and 762. One bag of 225, our first special drill Z3822. Our first AD, two bags of 141, 938, and 321. Two bags of 3835. Two bags of 738. Same with 792. 814 has one bag. And two bags of 434 added to the two bags up there. So four bags of 434. A bag of 938, 498, 316, 413, and 718, 469, another AB, 107, yes, <laughs> sorry there's a glare from you too, 562, 321, 336, 3818, and 158, 728, 317, 647, 140, another AD, 355, and two bags of 931, another bag of 739, two bags of 932, another special drill, Z775, two bags of 152, and 315. Here we have 959, 155, 3801. 3819, 936, 986, sorry, a special drill, the Z373 and 3787. And our last couple of drills, 989, 640, 414, our last AB, 108, 783, and 3607. So we have this beautiful little palette of just every single color, any type you could want, bright, the duller browns for the dinosaurs, which I'm sure that AB is going to come in handy and I cannot wait. So let me quickly cut out the special drills and our ABs and I'll show you where they're going to go on our canvas, which is the next thing I'm going to open up right now. Yeah, I'm so ridiculously excited. Ready? <laughs> How gorgeous is this? Look at this rendering. I'll show you all of it, don't worry. These are self-flattening or glue canvases. And if you can tell that my voice sounds a little bit better, it's because I took a small break just to let my allergies calm down. And if you know me, you know I love to just, <laughs> this sounds kind of weird, touch my canvases and spread them out. And, the little bubbles and pops and everything because with poured glue, which is the best type of diamond painting canvas you can get, you can, you know, take it off and put it back down, which helps flatten it out. And there are no rivers or bubbles that are a problem. You know, it's just air, but you can flatten those out and look how they're coming out of the painting. Look at this rendering. Look at the detail. This is a stunning, stunning painting. Then look right here where you can see where they're actually painting. It's kind of like, you know, in movies when they go meta and they reference the like painting in a painting or movie in a movie. And I just love this. I love all the colors. And I really do adore Jurassic Park. In my vinyl collection, I have a lot of, of course, Taylor Swift and BTS, but 
I also have movie soundtracks in Jurassic Park is most definitely, it was one of the first that I got. Speaking of that, I would love to know what like movie uh, scores you love or just, you know, if you have a vinyl collection or CD or just what's your favorite music to listen to while you diamond paint, clean, or just in general, but like if you have a movie score that really touched you, you know, you were just like, wow, the music just brings so much to this. I'd love to know. And now we will go through first. Here I'll show you. We have our ABs here, and then our special drills are right here. They're all special, you know what I mean? But these are the ABs, the Aurora Borealis. And so I think we can go through these two first, the red and green. And then we'll go through maybe the two blues, the special and the AB, then the pink and yellow. Then we'll go through where all of the white are. So since it is such a large painting, I'll just go from right to left and top to bottom and I will point those out where they're going to be and of course I can't show you super up close and like I always say if I miss them that's just more fun for you but I will try to see as many as I can so remember these are one and two these ABs they're so beautiful and bright if you're a fan of Randall Spangler this is the draggling AB and I do see a bunch of twos right here. And I'm sorry if there's any glare, I'll try to... I know it's a little bit darker, but hopefully that helps with you guys being able to see as clearly as possible. So the twos here. There are some right here. There are some reds right here. As we move down, there are a bunch of twos right here. Some more twos right here. The Brachiosaurus, I think. And Brontosaurus. And then a lot of here, some of the red ABs. These are all red ABs and big groups of these are red ABs, not all, but all of these are right here. As we go down, there are red ABs all throughout here, this carpet, and then same right here. Kind of like the red carpet for the dinosaurs. And as we go back up, let's see the red here that I showed you guys. As we go up, I think I showed you the red and this T-Rex's eyes. And as we get to the left of this beautiful thing, this would go so well in like a kid's study room or even like my office or something like that just because it's so much fun. The red here. And there are more greens right here and right here. So, red and greens all over. They're not limited to just one area of this painting. It's so cute, it almost looks like a board game. <laughs> then I can show you, why not just do the two blues? Light blue and dark blue, so I'll just say light blue and dark blue. Let me see. Okay, so that's three, and then the symbol. So we'll go from left to right because there's a lot of blue on the left side. So here's the light blue. We have a bunch right here. And some right here too. The symbol for the blue AB is three. Oh, and I see some throughout here. You can kind of see that bright blue right there. Oh, and there's some throughout here too. On the top and bottom of the jaw. And right here, there are 
light blues also. So a lot of light and blue in these. So both of these and this dinosaur. And as we go up, some more light blues here. And oh, light and dark blues in this dinosaur's eye. Light blues here. Light blues here. So we have a ton over here. And then as we go over, see these speckled blues in the middle of the red? There are light blues and those ABs. Since it's so big, I do have to roll it as we go back to the middle. Then in this kind of satellite right here, we have the light blues and the blue ABs, the three, same here. So they're all throughout here. As we go down, blue ABs and light blue. Light blue right here. As we go down some more light blue right here and oh a lot a big group of the ABs right here you can definitely see that bright blue same here a long line of them as we slowly go over there are some light blue the special drills right here We go up. Let's see if there are any more. I think I told you there are some speckled throughout right here. And then all the way up here, we have a lot of those blue ABs. See the bright blue right there at the top? So, so many all over. So they really spread these special drills out to make the colors just pop all over. And I love that they made these little kind of squares pop and the red carpet pop, you know? And then the special parts of the dinosaurs. I'm sure every single dinosaur has some sort of AB in it or special drill. Because then we have this beautiful beast special, just the pink and yellow which are a heart and an equal sign. So I'll just go on this side, the right. So I'll just say pink and yellow, of course, that makes it easier. And there are some yellows here and here on this dinosaur snout, which is, I guess what it's called. <laughs> you can correct me. There's some yellows dotted throughout this whole dinosaur. See, you can kind of see the yellow. Let me look for those cute hearts. Remember, it is a smaller, oh, I do see some hearts here. So we have both of these special diamonds in this dinosaur. Oh, there are hearts here. such a relaxing noise to me. <laughs> I always love this part of the sneak peek, just kind of going through this with you guys so you can see just how beautifully hand rendered these paintings are. Oh, right here we have the pink. You can kind of see these light areas. Those are hearts, this pink. Then we have more of our yellow some yellow in the eyes here and the teeth. And then as we go up the spine, the back of this dinosaur, we have yellows here and around the head. I'm looking for hearts too. They're a little bit harder to see, but when I see them, they're often in a group. So remember they're down here and then with the yellows, there's some group here too. As we go up, whoop, yellow's right here. Then 
some yellows here at the top of the triceratops. The top of the triceratops. <laughs> Whoop, come on, roll for me. There we go. Then, yellows here. Some yellows here and here. Right down here we have more pinks. Remember there are some spread through here, so there are more pinks right here. And as we go up, there are a bunch of yellows right here. Big groups, kind of little bunches. There's a yellow right there. And here, like I said, at the top of the triceratops, so they are again spread out all throughout this painting. Each dinosaur is kind of its special coloring, you know. So these will make this dinosaur especially stand out with that beautiful fairy dust special diamond. And then we'll go through where it's kind of really easy to see, but we have a lot of these beautiful white EBs. So We'll just quickly point them out. Pretty much every eye, so let's start with the right side. Let's see. The eye, we have four here, a bunch here. Groups here, all that white right here too. Not these, but down here, these three lines. And right here, same with these and these white squares. Right here, everywhere my finger's touching, really. A lot of white ABs all throughout right here. Here, and then of course, all of this white, every single white square you see here, white ABs, which are gonna make these just super pop. As we go to the middle, I showed you these, and then the top of the triceratops, the horns right here, then again, one for each eye, then we have like the special drills here, so their eyes, especially shiny. More light ABs here. Seven ABs here. As we go down, there are two here, four here, a bunch here, and then a couple. You can see the white through there. Here and here, there are two and two. And as we go down, there are 11 right here, seven here, and you can just see throughout the painting all of the really white areas, especially like this and the big areas of white. Those are going to just make this really, really shine. Like I always say, I love doing sneak peeks and I just love so many of the paintings that if I could just start every painting, I pretty much would, but I have banned myself from starting until and I will put up my whip video soon showing you guys that you can't make fun of me with how many whips I have going but once I show you you'll understand why I need to finish a couple before I put before I start any new projects because I have so so many but a lot are closer like medium or 60 to 75 percent so I just kind of need to buckle down and do it. I just adore so many paintings that I get ahead of myself and kid up and get so excited. And I love doing very large paintings, so I love this painting. I absolutely adore it. And I hope that you've enjoyed this sneak peek. And if you like my channel, I don't have a regular schedule because I do like putting up videos just whenever I can, especially longer videos. I do have my second Diamond Art Club huge unboxing. I think it's double as many paintings as I did before coming up, which will also have a contest where you can win paintings. Um, so that's coming up soon. Whip videos then for my members, which I have a wonderful member. And so, you know, they get to pick videos that I kind of, you know, prioritize, of course. And then linked below are my other channels, which I'm going to start working on this upcoming year because I finally kind of, you know, have everything down. I have a surgery coming up in the next couple of months. So it's just, I'm so grateful to you guys for not only watching my videos, especially my 
really long videos like my unboxing the three hour video if you just put my playlists on in the background it means so much to me and it helps my channel so much liking and commenting subscribing and just you're all so so generous and I have links below for ways that you can help the channel and everything that you give me goes back into the channel we're moving to a new house and I can't wait to set up there and start the booktube and everything else there for you guys. I can't wait for you to see it so you can go subscribe there and, you know, just if you ever want to ask me a question, please leave it in the comments. I love talking to you guys and when I ask questions, I really want the answers. I want to know how your lives are going in a non, you know, parasocial toxic way. I just love keeping up with you guys and making sure that you're treating yourselves well and trying to be kind to other people because it is a tough time. You know, the holidays can be rough on certain people. They can definitely help some people, but I know my anxiety goes up a little bit, so I completely understand why some people might not be their best selves during the holidays, so make sure to be kind to yourselves because I do care about you so much and I'm so grateful for every subscription every like every comment every video if you just don't want to you know comment or anything but you watch my videos and put them on in the background that is the best way to support me because when youtube sees you rewatching videos or just watching any of them not even rewatching, if you just kind of put them on while you're cleaning or diamond painting or doing anything or even if you just put them on and walk away just to support me it is so so meaningful and it really just kind of helps me lower my anxiety a little bit knowing that I do have the surgery coming up which I will keep you guys updated on not super personally just as it is personal but I mean timing wise but I'll have videos set up to go and everything but I'm definitely gonna have that really long unboxing and hopefully two of those for you guys before that happens so you do have something to tide you over long, long videos. And I'm just so grateful to you. And again, I want to mention my code, Janet15. If it's your first, I'm an art club purchase for Cyber Monday, which is so exciting. And for when you please go on sale, not just this, but this diamond. I mean this diamond painting and the other paintings that are going on sale. I'm just going to make sure I get this right. So, Diamond Art Club says when the clock strikes 12, strikes 12 a.m. Pacific Standard Time, 3 a.m. Eastern Standard Time on Monday, the 27th. It's your cue to catch the grand finale at diamondartclub.com. And these will be 25 brand new designs plus 25 restocked favorites. So make sure to Definitely mark your calendar, set your, like, uh, what is it, timers and everything, because I know it's different time zones for everybody. And, of course, Diamond Art Club's always sending out emails to let you know, especially if you're Diamond and Ruby members and everything. But it looks like these might all go on sale at the same time. I'm not exactly sure. Don't 100% quote me on that, but I will put when these go on sale in the description just in case you want to double check and if you want to go look at Diamond Art Club's Instagram I have them linked down below in my Instagram too and everything so if you want to go look at the other releases that will be coming out and just kind of make a wish list you know go ahead and do that and I just want to thank you especially if you stuck through to this put your favorite food emoji I would love that. Or you can just write your favorite food in a comment. And trust me, when I ask you to do this for contests and things going forward, they're meaningful. So 
don't think that they don't matter when I ask questions like this. They can go towards tickets, you know, entries into contests and things like that, but I cannot wait to announce the contest that's going to go along with my Diamond Art Club second big unboxing and it's been a true pleasure doing the sneak peek for this Dinomania by Mr. Steve Sundrum and I just adore it. I hope that you liked it too and I hope you enjoy Cyber Monday. You enjoyed the Black Friday huge sale and I will see you guys so so soon. Bye! I can't wait to show you my new office and everything. I might do a video on that if you guys are interested. Remember, video suggestions, diamond painting, questions, questions you'd like to ask me personally just for future whip-in chats or anything like that are always welcome. There's no comment that I don't welcome. Even constructive criticism, I love it. So just thank you guys so much and I'll see you so soon. <laughs> Bye guys. What a cute and adorable and just beautifully artistic and wonderful painting. Bye.